hey scorpios welcome to your march 2020 general reading this reading is for scorpio sun moon and rising if you don't know your moon and rising sign there's a link down in my description you can click on that enter your birthday and the time you were born and you'll get your moon and rising sign all right scorpios also if you're new to my channel i always encourage everyone to comment their birthdays represent the scorpio gang and also see if you can find your birthday twin all right scorpios let's get into it this will be a general reading so take what applies whatever doesn't apply let it fly all right so universe please pick up on the energy of scorpio sun moon and rising what is the present energy surrounding scorpio in march 2020 and the present energy could be the moment you're watching this video could be the recent past all right first card out three of pentacles all right scorpios working on something here queen of swords could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius the full card all right scorpios for many of you it seems like scorpios you guys are ready to leave something behind okay it could be a work situation um i feel like you're working on something or you're dealing with someone who could be a boss or someone who has tried to control you in some kind of way i feel like for you scorpio you guys are looking for freedom or you're looking to do something new looking for a new adventure in your life looking to start fresh start over um possibly could be for travel but i feel like mainly for for a lot of you scorpios you're looking for something different especially when it comes to work what you've currently been doing could be a relationship this queen of swords to me is representing someone um who's i don't know why i'm getting this vibe from from the queen of swords but it just seems like someone who's controlling could be a boss could be someone who who thinks they're your boss <laughs> um but it seems like you're looking for a new start a new beginning a new direction could be a new job or a clean slate as well as what i'm getting here for scorpios you're also in the process of planning something. Could be planning a trip or planning um, how to start over. Maybe you want to, you know, you are Scorpio. You are the Phoenix. You love to reinvent yourselves. And I feel like you're, you're, you're in that energy again where you want to reinvent yourself. Very cool, Scorpios. Okay. So what's the energy that's coming towards Scorpio? That's the external energy coming towards Scorpio in the month of March that they need to be aware of. Awesome card, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles here for Scorpio. Could be talking about a lot of money. The inheritance of money. Again, air energy, sword energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. One more card here. Please clarify for the energy coming towards Scorpio. And the Seven of Cups. Yeah, Scorpio, I feel like you guys are struggling with leaving, leaving something behind. You feel this urge to reinvent yourself, to start over, but you're still undecided if you want to leave something that you've established you know, it could be a great career, could be your family, could be your home. But again, you do feel this urge. You're like in a crossroads. You feel this urge to really leave something behind. This could be something that you've been very much invested in. So it could be, like I said, a family, a job, something that you've put a lot of work and effort into for a long period of time. And you're conflicted. And you're at a crossroads where you don't know if you want to stay or if you want to go. It seems heavily like you're lean, leaning towards wanting to go, but that's how you feel. That's the energy that you're in. You want to leave the past behind, but you could be scared. You don't know what the future holds for you. But you just feel the urge to do it. You feel the urge to move on.
but you're gonna be at this energy where you don't know what to do. I feel like, as like I said again before, you're very heavily leaning towards moving on or, or starting fresh or doing something completely different than what you've been doing for a while now. Okay, Scorpios. Some of the signs I see here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of Earth elements here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like there is an air sign that you want to move away from. Or this could be talking about a lot of thoughts that you've been having. You're unclear in your mind what you want to do. You haven't yet come to your decision on what your plans are for the future. But you know that you feel like you want to start fresh. So then what is the outcome for Scorpios? Here's the outcome here for Scorpios. Overall outcome. Overall outcome for Scorpios. Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's the outcome here for Scorpios in this situation? The Lovers, card of Gemini. Page of Wands. And the two of wands i was just gonna say you are gonna make your decision here you're you're making a hard overhead decision but you do decide to go for what feels right for you many of you could be motivated to leave someone behind because you feel like you've met your soulmate or your partner or your person or you're feeling divinely guided to making some sort of decision here you have two twos here but you're coming up as Page of Wands. You've made a decision now. You're picking a path. For many of you Scorpios, you may be going back and forth, still undecided. Questioning your decisions. Let's turn that. But it seems like to me, many of you are like very drawn to like an air sign too, I'm getting. Definitely a Gemini. Could be a Libra, could be an Aquarius. Many of you want to take a risk or a leap of faith and follow your heart, follow your, your intuition. Many of you are leaving behind something very established to start fresh, but you want to. Again, like I said, it's all about reinvent, reinventing for you, reinventing your life. You're okay to start over, to start fresh. You're okay to leave things behind and lose what you have. Unlike other signs, I feel like Scorpios are very good about starting over. They don't hold on to things for too long or people or they, they don't get very attached. Well, they get attached to people, <laughs> but they don't get attached to things. You know what I mean? Like they don't get attached to, to homes or money or things like that. People, yes but they're very good at starting fresh, starting over, moving to, you know, like relocating and starting a whole new life, being a whole nother person. And you feel this urge that you really, really want to do that. There's a period here where you're kind of going back and forth and contemplating it, but I feel like eventually you're going to know deep down what is the right decision for you, what makes the most sense, what feels great. And you're going to go ahead and make that decision. And it seems like you're very confident about it too. And you move forward into the remainder of the year, leaving the past behind and embracing, you know, the adventure ahead of you, embracing what lies ahead of you here with the Page of Wands. You seem excited and eager about your future. So good for you, Scorpios. Good for you. <laughs> so Scorpio, I hope that this was able to give you some clarity. This is a general reading. If you want to do a private reading with me, something that's more um, personalized into your specific situation, there's a link down in my description. You can click on that. 
purchase a reading and I will get back to you. All right, Scorpios, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.